So in setting up a PIM system, right, and, and any data, right, if you have an assembly, right, an assembly is made up of a series of parts. Um, they may be kitted, kits uh, and assemblies, right, could go into a group of, uh, of products, right? So first of all, understanding your products, that's your top hierarchy. Second, what are the assemblies and parts that need to go into that? And are there bundles, right? So related products, one of the most complex things or the things not necessarily, um, not, not so much complex, but, you know, rarely put together is what are the complementary things I sell? If you buy this, <laughs> here's the replacement parts that you might need. Here's the, um, uh, here, uh, connecting it to your service uh, capability that says, look, typically here's the lifespan of that. These are the parts, here's the assemblies. You might consider this product, right? Because it bolts on, that's one level. And then below that, in order to allow someone, so we have a, a customer CTI, and I love everyone has a uh, an acronym when you're when you're a uh, when you're a company, but they actually allow right. We've built a bomb builder, so you you actually take you can start from the top or you can start from from the bottom. That says these are the things I need. So how do I actually build that bill of material? Well, I start with the product I want. Here's the options that go into that. Here's the set of parts or the set of key features I want. And then we go grab, right? What are the actual assemblies, parts, kits that make up that options that they want to put together? And that provides a either configurable product that we can price automatically, right? With a set of rules or kick it back for a custom quote, if that's your business. That's where hierarchy is a benefit. And in some cases, right, they're six, seven levels deep. 